welcome. Today we want to proceed from where we stopped. And today we are going to do database connectivity. So what happens is that uh, we want to be able to have information here. And when we click on this save button, it sends that information to the database. Let's go ahead. So when I double click on this save button here, remember this is the, the code that we had last and we are doing some simple validations here to make sure that there is a name that has been captured then the id number is here now from here we want to do database connectivity by the way i can do a comment by doing that um Good. So to do um, connection to the database from C Sharp, it's very easy. All you have to do is to use an object called SQL SQL connection. Now, so at this point in time. Uh, the system is wondering what is this SQL connection so let's click this and see and up there I should have written using system dot data dot SQL client or clicking here um, makes the system right for me using system dot data dot SQL client and now I can do that so I can declare connection so I can say con is equals to new SQL connection. Now, one very important property that SQL connection uses is what we call connection string. And I can um, I can straight away say con dot. So this con here dot connection string is equals to empty string and what is a connection string connection string is actually uh, information that shows or that guides that connection to which database it's connecting to so uh, part of the things that we specify uh, within that connection string is the server name the database name the username and the password so basically, um, it's looking for the information that is here on the micro, Microsoft SQL Server Management. So here, if I came here, did that, right? Click on my server name and click Connect. So basically, this is what the system, this is what the system is looking for. So this is server name. So I can even copy from here um and it's looking for this login here and the password here something else that it's looking for is the name of the database so those are the things that you specify but the basic information that you specify um within connection string so i'll copy my server name here come back here and the server name here is called data source. So I'll say data source, data source is equals to, I paste what I've copied. Now, um, you'll see that there is a small error here and I can easily do away with that error by putting that sign. So the next here will be, what we call um, the database name. And here we call it initial catalog is equals to, and remember our database name here was COVID patients. So I can even right click there, copy that file, and then 
that now username it's called user id i have a user called guest and then password is equals to guest now so that is the user for your case it can be sa it can be any other user that is found within logins here so you see um, this is the guest i'm using and because we are learning this we are keeping everything here plus password that is not encrypted within this place but uh in future we're going to i'm going to show you how you can encrypt password and even save it within an external file so that you can easily switch between databases with without necessarily coming to the code here once that is specified the next thing is to say con dot open and that will open our database and you'll write a lot of code somewhere here let me comment and say code goes here and after that you should remember to close the connection you should always remember to close the connection so that is the easiest way to open the database and close the database so that is already this this number of lines are already connecting to the database and we can easily test that so i can break our lines there and then click on start Taking a while, I don't know why. There we go. So, um, so you can have the name there. ID number, some number. Pick gender. Type country, Kenya. You can say this is uh, date of birth. Now, when I click on save, um and then now f10 so i'm stripping within that code goes there then gets in there um open and we can see that there's no error so by the way that connection was successful it has connected successfully to the database now the next thing we want to do is to send that information to the database.